Inside the life of Dubai's royal family, the Al Maktam family, the royal and ruling family of Dubai, is led by His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktam, ruler of Dubai. Although he and his royal family remain hugely popular and loved by the residents of both Dubai and the UAE, many people outside of the country know little about this royal family besides the fact that they are extremely rich. How did they come to power and how are they so popular? Let's have a closer look at the life of Dubai's royal family. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. The Al Maktoum family are descendants of Bani Yas tribe of the area of what is now the UAE and were the most powerful and strategic of the familial tribes in ancient Arabia. In 1833, around 800 members of the Al Maktoum family branched away from the main Bani Yaz family. They took over the emirate or region of Dubai, establishing themselves as the ruling family of this area. The Al Maktoum family has ruled Dubai ever since and now has established themselves as the royal family with the titles of Sheikh, roughly translating as king in this case. The Sheikh of Dubai now also serves as the vice president of the UAE while also serving as the de facto prime minister and defense minister. The current ruler of Dubai, His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, was born in 1949 and took over as ruler of Dubai after the death of his older brother in 2006. This makes him the 13th official Sheikh of the Emirate of Dubai. Remaining highly popular among residents and locals alike, he has managed to build Dubai into the world-recognized superpower it is today, while also investing in infrastructure, schools, charities, and international events to bring even more experts and immigrants to Dubai. His family is also highly popular, mostly thanks in part to his dashing and oldest son, Crown Prince Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktam, known lovingly as Faza by his fans, which is the name he uses on his Instagram account when he publishes his popular love poetry to the public. The ruler of Dubai's older children are younger, however, they still remain popular thanks to the Sheikh's hugely followed Instagram account. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktam is married to six wives which accounts for why he does, in fact, have so many children, with the most recent wife being the daughter of the King of Jordan, Princess Haya bin Hussein, a graduate of Oxford University, an accomplished equestrian, and a lover of fashion, she remains one of the Sheikh's most followed family members on social media. The ruling family of Dubai remains ever popular thanks to their unusual method of keeping a personal connection with the residents of the city through social media and by regularly showing up to events and restaurants. They are even seen walking in public or driving around downtown Dubai. Although extremely wealthy, they manage to remain humble in the eyes of their subjects and are devoted to public issues in both Dubai and the UAE. With the growth of the city and social media, many remain glued to the royal family to see what new era both the current Sheikh and his young son Prince Hamdan will bring to the unique city of Dubai and the world. Sheikh Mohammed is an avid fan of horse and camel racing. When the UAE national football team won the Gulf Cup, the Sheikh and his family gifted the team a combined $24 million. He's also a major figure in thoroughbred horse racing and breeding, owning Darley Stud, the largest horse breeding operation in the world. The Sheikh also owns the biggest yacht in Dubai, which, at 162 meters long, can host 155 people and is the world's third largest yacht. Though Sheikh Mohammed, who is also the official monarch of Dubai, has encountered numerous lawsuits, he settled most of them out of court in monetary agreements. The family owns many numerous luxurious properties, including a state-of-the-art Emirates Hills mansion. Located in one of the most sought-after gated communities in Dubai, nicknamed the Beverly Hills of the area, this massive mansion not only takes up two house plots, but it covers an area of 32,000 square feet. The house features two kitchens, an entrance hall complete with a Buddha statue, a private gym complete with cardiovascular machines, and a home office. 
The downstairs guest suite comes with a large lounge, private terrace, and bathroom, and a lift that allows you to entirely skip the grand staircase and head up to the five bedrooms that have their own walk-in closets, and the master bedroom even has its own dressing room, private steam room, and full bathroom. There is a roof terrace, bar, sun deck, and large hot tub, all looking over views of the Montgomery Golf Course and the Dubai Marina. Just when you thought we might be finished, nope, this house also includes a massive basement that has two more bedrooms, a TV room, and access to the sunken garden outside. You can find a large swimming pool with underwater speakers in the garden, parking space for five cars, and accommodation for a guard, housekeeper, and three maids. The total price paid for this insane piece of Dubai living consumed nearly $50 million. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum once hit the headlines after spending a fortune snapping up the glamorous La Belle Epoque penthouse in Monaco for around $323 million in 2010. It's one of the most prestigious penthouses in Monaco. It features a double-height library, cinema screens that emerge from the walls, large walk-in wardrobes, leisure room, media room, and a jacuzzi room with a personal spa. The vast roof terraces offer stunning sea views complete with mature 15-foot trees and an infinity swimming pool. The penthouse's elaborate security features include a panic room with reinforced glass and surveillance cameras throughout. Situated on the top two floors above three private banks that occupy the first four floors of the prestigious La Belle Epoque building, the 17,500-square-foot penthouse is not only the largest and arguably the most impressive in Monaco, but is also located in one of the most sought-after areas. And when it comes to cars driven by this family, you will be left drowning in envy. You haven't really lived until you've seen the royal cruising around Dubai in his G-Class Mercedes. Sheikh Mohammed often abandons drivers and limos in favor of making his own way around town and has been sighted many a time enjoying a leisurely solo cruise around Al Quadra Lakes. Early 2016, the Sheikh was snapped traveling on London's underground in a selfie by his son, H.H. Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed, the crown prince. Yep, the ruler of Dubai issued armored cars and private choppers for an oyster cart and a trip on the central line. A royal that thinks nothing of rubbing shoulders with commuters gets a huge thumbs up in our books. Gone are the days when the lives of royal families in the Middle East were not made public under the excuse of the strict protocol. In today's digital age, where information is just a click away, things have changed for the better. Royals no longer live in an isolated existence away from the masses they rule, instead embracing progressive attitudes and sharing their once cloistered lives with the world through social media. Enter Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Rashid Al Maktoum, the crown prince of Dubai living life to the fullest. In clear view of his 11.4 million Instagram followers, he is the face of Dubai and that of the family. Away from his professional commitments, Sheikh Hamdan has demonstrated an instinct for the extreme. He is a skyscraper jumper, he has often been evidenced by his Instagram page, and he also enjoys diving, jetpacks, and zip lines. As an Emirati, Sheikh Hamdan's love for horses is palpable, and he proudly owns some 1,000 of them all over the world. After all, he is an award-winning horse rider. As the namesake of the Dubai Crown Prince Camel Festival, he also boasts more than 120 camels at his farm, as well as big cats he apparently enjoys playing with. He is also a keen world traveler. With his own chartered plane taking him to different corners of the globe, this is where his passion for photography comes into its own. With so much wealth to spend, it's unsurprising to learn that Sheikh Hamdan has a fleet of luxury vehicles in his garage. As a seeker of thrills, he has an envious collection of six amphibious cars known as the Python. He owns an extraordinary collection of tanks, which he's able to take for a drive in the vast sands around Dubai. He also has a Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse and Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. 
To one surprise, she Camden also has an unbelievable number of golden cars, including a Lamborghini, a Range Rover, as well as Bentley, Bentega, and an entire fleet of Rolls-Royce motors. He is a yacht that is believed to be the third largest in the entire world that was given to him by his father. He is currently chairman of the Executive Council of Dubai, Dubai Autism Center, and Dubai Sports Council. His priority in all these roles is to represent Dubai as a world-class city. He keeps coming up with new initiatives to tackle the social issues in Dubai and across the UAE, thanks to all privileges he has enjoyed. Despite all the wealth and glam, the family has had its fair share of controversies. First, Princess Latifa tried to flee by boat and almost made it to India before being sent back. Then Princess Haya, Sheikh Mohammed's public wife, refused to return from England. Now the Sheikh is battling her in court over their children. But despite that, life is still a bed of roses for this famous family. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you check out more videos on our channel, okay? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.